Yet, before we jump into the declaration, understanding what is significant, molecule gas pedals are the Huge Hadron Collider, LHC. Worked by CERN, it is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets and also the world's biggest and most powerful atom smasher. It addresses the apex of human logical accomplishment. As a matter of fact, it's so strong that it can reproduce the very states of the universe's introduction to the world. However, could this machine, intended to open the insider secrets of the universe, hold the key to something undeniably more foreboding? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the world's most lofty exploration associations with 23 member states and thousands of researchers. It's a center for collaboration and development. The LHC is CERN's lead project, but it's only one part of a vast organization of gas pedals and tests. Imagine a circuit, but not for vehicles or ponies. This track is for subatomic particles. It is a test of skill and endurance. At itself, the LHC speeds up protons to almost the speed of light, sending them on a crash course that mimics the energy of the universe at the time of the Big Bang. The impacts create temperatures multiple times hotter than the core of the sun. Huge numbers of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while complex cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The beams inside the LHC are made to crash at four areas around the accelerator ring, corresponding to the positions of four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each fills a unique purpose investigating different aspects of particle physics. Together, they act as gigantic cameras, capturing depictions of these impacts. Researchers then sift through the debris, searching for indications of the subtle Higgs boson, otherwise known as the God particle, and other peculiarities. Pieces of evidence about the universe's fundamental structure blocks. By considering the microcosm, we gain insights into the universe. But with each answer comes another question. And with each discovery, another test. The LHC isn't simply a scientific instrument. It's a demonstration of human curiosity and development. It embodies our persistent quest for knowledge and our longing to understand the fundamental forces that shape our universe. Yet, as we push the limits of what we know, we must also consider the moral and existential questions that arise in the sacred halls of CERN, where the boundaries of human comprehension are continually pushed. A discovery has emerged that sends a shudder down the spine of even the most seasoned researchers. Brian Cox, a former scientist at CERN and a voice of authority in the realm of particle physics, has recently made a declaration that has left the world both intrigued and apprehensive. Cox's words reverberate with haunting clarity. The objective of CERN's huge Hadron Collider is to reproduce a mini Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right a mini version of the very event that brought forth our universe. The physicist also happened to explain the implications of this objective, highlighting the LHC's exceptional potential for making new discoveries. This includes its ability to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and the investigation of dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a significant part of the universe. Imagine holding the force of creation in your grasp, the capacity to summon the very essence of the universe. It's a tempting prospect, but one fraught with peril. The mini Big Bang isn't just a theoretical concept. It's a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy, all mimic the conditions of the universe's infancy. It's like standing at the earliest days of recorded history, witnessing the birth of existence itself. However, with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms large. What if something goes wrong? In fact, Something went terribly wrong back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced a calamity that would forever change the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protvino, Russia, a breakdown caused his head to inadvertently come into the direct path of a proton beam. The beam, with a force that defies comprehension, passed through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Yugorsky's experience was extraordinary. He saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns, but had no worries. The beam's path resulted in a trail of destruction, consuming tissue and bone. Yet, he remained conscious and even walked to the center for treatment. The outcome was both shocking and fascinating. The beam's path caused localized tissue death, 
leading to the loss of hearing in one ear and partial facial paralysis. But astonishingly, Bugorsky's cognitive abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident isn't just an individual tragedy. It's a wake-up call that highlights the immense power and potential risks of particle accelerators. The dangers of an atom smasher like the LHC are not to be trifled with. The potential for unforeseen reactions, the very fabric of reality being manipulated. These are not the stuff of science fiction but real concerns voiced by some established researchers. The universe's mysteries are not just toys, but instruments of enormous power. One of the most disturbing and captivating concerns related to the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, devouring stars, mysterious entities that lurk in the shadows of our universe. That the LHC could create such an entity, even on a tiny scale, is stunning for both the general public and scientists alike. Could this black hole grow uncontrollably, swallowing the Earth from within? Researchers at CERN have assured that any black hole created would be unstable and evaporate almost instantly. However, the remote possibility has ignited discussions, fears, and a sense of wonder at the power we wield. It's critical to understand how the LHC could create a black hole. It has to do with the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it distorts the fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched taut, and then a significant weight dropped onto it. The fabric bends, and if the weight is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be drawn into it. That is an oversimplified analogy for what could happen in the LHC. In the realm of quantum physics, where the rules of the universe are both strange and beautiful, there exists a theory that extra dimensions might be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's collisions could tap into them, creating a gravitational well that forms a tiny black hole. This perplexing dance of particles has even caught the attention of some world-renowned scientists, especially the late Stephen Hawking. In his book, he warned of a scenario where the Higgs boson could become unstable at extremely high energy levels. This instability could lead to a catastrophic vacuum decay an event that wouldn't just obliterate the Earth, but the entire universe itself. The regarded English cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees also expressed his concerns about the experiments conducted at CERN in his book on the future possibilities for humanity. He explored the potential dangers related to particle accelerator tests, including those at CERN. His words were not only cautionary. They were tinged with a sense of existential dread as he discussed a worst-case scenario where a disastrous investigation could create a condition called vacuum instability. Precariousness could, in principle, set off a stage change that would wave through the actual texture of space-time, resulting in a grandiose calamity that could inundate the whole universe. Reyes's concerns were not restricted to hypothetical thoughts. He relegated a likelihood to these devastating results, yet a low one. However, even an infinitesimal opportunity, he contended, ought to provide us an opportunity to stop and think. The stakes are impossibly high, and the edge for mistake is razor slight. The researchers at CERN have determined the probabilities, run the reenactments, and inspected the hypotheses to contend for the well-being of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself recognized the significance of this. He pointed out that there are boundless feelings of trepidation and concerns surrounding the action of the LHC. Yet he underlined that there are thorough safety measures set up, broad surveys and conventions that ensure the LHC's operations are conducted with the utmost attention to detail. Cox consoled that the energies involved are well within what the Earth normally experiences, and the chances of making a stable black hole are cosmically low, regardless of whether one were made. Researchers say it would be so small and so temperamental that it would dissipate instantly as energy, a peculiarity anticipated by Stephen Hawking, known as Hawking radiation. It would be a transient snapshot of grandiose marvel, a brief look into the pit, and then gone. Some have gone further, theorizing that the LHC's trials could open a gateway to another universe or dimension. This idea, however, is generally dismissed by established researchers, but has captured the imagination of many and has become a subject of interest, dread, and even old stories. 
What lies beyond our world? Might we, at some point, accidentally release powers or substances that we don't comprehend? The thought of opening a gateway to damnation has indeed been sensationalized in different media, fanning the fire of vulnerability. Yet how did this thought come to be? And what does it mean in the context of scientific investigation? The idea of parallel dimensions isn't new in physics. String theory, a main possibility for a unified theory of everything, posits that there may be more than the recognizable three dimensions of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified or stowed away from our insight. In any case, they could hypothetically be accessed or uncovered under extreme circumstances. Now imagine the LHC as an enormous key opening doors that have been sealed since the earliest days of recorded history, when protons collide at energies never achieved on Earth until recently. They could, in principle, create waves or tears in the fabric of space-time. These tears could open pathways to dimensions beyond our own, like cracks in a massive wall that isolates us from the unknown. The outcomes would be like dropping a stone into a completely quiet lake. The impact creates swells, waves that spread out, connecting with everything they touch. In the context of the LHC, those waves could be disturbances in the dimensions themselves, waves that spread out into realms we can't see or appreciate. Researchers at CERN rush to point out that the energies needed to create such a gateway are far beyond what the LHC can accomplish. Opening a portal to another dimension remains firmly in the realm of science fiction. However, the very fact that we can consider such potential outcomes, that we can explore the limits of our understanding and venture into the void of the unknown, is a testament to the power of human curiosity and resourcefulness. For the researchers at CERN, it should serve as a sobering reminder that some doors, once opened, may reveal insights we are not prepared to confront. Tests have not just raised logical and philosophical inquiries, yet legitimate and moral ones too. The very demonstration of reproducing the states of the universe's introduction to the world, venturing into the early stage soup of presence and mixing it with our innovative spoons, has touched off discussions that rise above the limits of science. Are we playing God? Are we stepping on hallowed ground, interfering with powers that were once the sole territory of the universe? These are not just expository questions, yet profoundly agitating requests that challenge our very comprehension of morals and obligation. The formation of a smaller-than-normal black hole, for example, isn't simply a logical interest. It is a potential Pandora's box. Imagine a whirlpool sucking all that into its inevitable handle. However, on a vast scale, some legal researchers and ethicists have addressed whether humankind has the right to face such challenges, even in the quest for knowledge. Claims have been documented trying to stop the LHC's tests, referring to worries about security and the potential for horrendous results. The discussions rage on, not just in courts but in the halls of academia, in the media, and around dinner tables. In 2008, a claim was recorded in Hawaii by Walter Wagner and El Sancho, who tried to end the LHC's activities. They contended that the collider could produce planet-gobbling black holes or never-before-seen peculiarities that could obliterate not just the Earth, but the whole universe. The claim requested a temporary restraining order against CERN, arguing that the organization had neglected to provide an environmental impact statement as required by U.S. regulations. However, the case was dismissed, igniting a firestorm of debate and bringing the LHC's potential risks into sharp focus. Across the Atlantic, in Germany, a professor named Otto Rossler filed a complaint with the European Court of Human Rights, claiming that the LHC disregarded the right to life guaranteed by the European Convention on Human Rights. Rossler's interests were founded in the fear that the LHC would be able to create minuscule black holes that could grow wildly. Although both claims were ultimately unsuccessful, they form part of a wider movement of concern and incredulity surrounding the LHC. They reflected a deeply rooted tension about the unknown, a fear that our quest for knowledge could lead us down a path from which there is no return. CERN was formed in the shadowed aftermath of World War II, when the world was still recovering and the reverberations of destruction were a spooky sign of human imprudence. It was a time when the very structure holding the system together was torn apart. From that confusion, a gathering of visionary researchers hoped against hope. They envisioned a place 
where the limits of countries would disintegrate, where the pursuit of knowledge would be a guiding light. They imagined a research center, a cauldron where the secrets of the universe could be explored, where the secrets of existence could be unlocked. Hence, CERN was conceived as an offspring of war and wisdom, an image of what humankind could accomplish when driven by curiosity instead of struggle. Throughout the years, CERN has been at the forefront of particle physics, contributing to our understanding of the fundamental forces and particles that make up the universe. The organization has been involved in various momentous revelations, such as the discovery of neutral currents and the W and Z bosons responsible for the weak nuclear force. The Higgs boson, a particle that gives various particles mass, was a hypothetical phantom, a murmured legend in the annals of physics. Its presence was a riddle that tantalized researchers, a question enclosed by the very essence of reality. CERN's persistent quest for this ghost culminated in a moment that shook the scientific world in 2012, when the Large Hadron Collider finally unveiled the God Particle. It was a win of human ingenuity, a confirmation of our insatiable hunger for knowledge. However, the Higgs boson isn't the only mystery being investigated by CERN researchers. In a surprising advancement, CERN's LHC has uncovered a particle that defies our conventional understanding of physics, the pentaquark. This particle, as its name suggests, is made up of five quarks, including an antiquark. This is a distinct departure from the more familiar protons and neutrons, which are made up of three quarks each. The existence of such a particle was not expected in nature, making its discovery a testament to the unpredictable and often perplexing nature of the quantum world. The discovery of the pentaquark at the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland has opened up a new frontier in our understanding of the universe. These particles might exist for just a thousandth of a billionth of a billionth of a second, but their implications could be timeless. They could hold the key to understanding how our universe is shaped, how the fundamental particles of matter hold together, and how the strong force, the glue that holds the interiors of particles together, works. The pentaquark isn't alone in its exoticism. Alongside it, researchers have found new tetraquark particles comprised of four quarks. These revelations are not just adding to the particle zoo. They are reshaping our comprehension of it. They are allowing researchers to begin grouping these particles together, similar to the elements in the periodic table, clearing the way for a new theory and set of rules governing this exotic matter. Moreover, in May 2023, CERN specialists made another significant discovery, the observation of an intriguing Higgs boson decaying into two muons. These discoveries mark a critical step in confirming the properties of the Higgs boson. It's like finding an unaccounted for peace in a massive jigsaw puzzle, one that helps us understand why things have mass. Yet the secrets of the universe are far from solved. Just in April, CERN reported the discovery of a new particle smaller than quarks and leptons. This finding challenges our current understanding of particle physics and opens up a new frontier in the quest to uncover the fundamental building blocks of the universe.